Shalom Kodoshim. Praise, honor, and esteem to Yahuwah Al Shaddai, who was, and who is, and who is coming. In this deliverance prayer, we are going to call this Fear Breaker. Many in the body of Mashiach find themselves paralyzed by fear. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it is written, For Elohim has not given us the Ruach of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Many seem to think that fear is a chemical or some type of emotion, but in reality, it is a spirit or Ruach. In spiritual warfare, the Ruach of fear is the demonic foot soldiers. Eo, Job chapter 41 verse 22, it is written, Strength dwells in his neck, and fear leaps before him. In this chapter of Job, Yahuwah is explaining who and what Leviathan is. According to the scripture, it says that fear leaps before him. At the end of the chapter, in verse 34, it says that he is king over all the sons of pride. A king usually has a kingdom, and most kingdoms have an army. Let's go to Job chapter 4 verse 12 through 21 it is written and unto me a word was secretly brought and my ear received a little of it amid thoughts from visions of the night when deep sleep falls on men fear came upon me and trembling causing my bones to shake greatly then a ruach passed before my face the hair on my body stood up it stood still but i could not discern its appearance a form was before my eyes silence then a voice i heard is mortal man more righteous than a lure? Is man more clean than his maker? Look, he puts no trust in his servants, and he charges his messengers to stray. How much more than those who dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed like a maw? From morning till evening they are beaten down, they perish forever, with no one regarded. Are not the cords of their tents pulled up? They die without wisdom. There's a few things I want to point out here. In verse 12, it says a word was secretly brought, and its ear received a little of it. Amid thoughts from visions of the night when deep sleep falls on men. So what I want to point out here is that every thought that goes through our mind is not ours. Verse 14, fear came upon me in trembling, causing my bones to shake greatly. Even our bodily reactions and our emotions. A Ruach can have manipulation over this as well. In order for us to overcome fear, we have to quickly recognize who the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions are coming from. What's the source of it? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3-6, through 6, it is written, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through a lure hand to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Elua and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Some of us are bound by fear. Some of these fears might have built up a stronghold in our minds, sometimes even in our bodies. We need to invest our time in Bible study. We need to be sober be vigilant because our adversary the devil is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour we need to take every thought captive and bringing them into the obedience of Mashiach and in verse 6 it says and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled this means instead of us just sitting back and allowing the enemy to do what they want to do we are ready to revenge all disobedience until our obedience is fulfilled. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 through 8 Worry for nothing, but in all by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to Yahuwah. And the peace of Yahuwah, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds through Mashiach Yahushua. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is righteous, whatever is clean, whatever is lovely, Whatever it is of good report, if there is any uprightness and if there is any praise, think on these. It's very important for us when we are anxious and when we are fearful to spend time in prayer, always giving thanks. 
then that peace will guard our minds. It will also guard our heart too. The devil is a liar and he's a father of it. We need to focus and keep our minds on things that are true, things that are a good report. For example, there may be someone who's afraid to drive at night. And some of the fears that runs through his mind and through his heart may be that he might get in an accident or a deer might come out of nowhere. Meditating on these kind of thoughts will open the door to fear and that exact thing will happen. Yo, Job chapter 3 verse 25 it is written. But that which I greatly feared has come upon me and that which I dreaded has overtaken me. I have not been at ease nor have I been undisturbed nor been at rest yet trouble comes. Whenever these negative thoughts, these negative emotions comes upon us, we need to rebuke it immediately. Mishle, Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1, it is written. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Praise Yahuwah, because he has now given us the Ruach HaKodesh. The Lion of Yahuwah is with us. Matthew chapter 14 verse 25. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahushua went to them, walking on the sea. And when the Talmudians saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a phantom. And from fear they cried. But immediately Yahushua spoke to them, saying, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. And Kepha answered them and said, Master, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. And when Kepha had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Yahushua. But when he saw that the wind was strong, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Master, save me. And immediately Yahushua stretched out his hand and took hold of him and said to him, Oh, you a little belief, why did you doubt? We see here that Kepha did the impossible. By his belief, he stepped on water and he walked on it. But when he saw that the wind was strong, then he became afraid and he started to sink. To him who's able to keep us from falling, praise Yahushua. Anything that's not a belief, it is sin. The enemy knows this, so they will try to make us doubt and try to have us to become fearful. Hazayon, Revelation chapter 21, verse 7 and 8, it is written, The one who overcomes shall inherit all this, and I shall be his Elohim, and he shall be my son. But as for the cowardly, and untrustworthy, and abominable, and murderers, and those who whore, and drug sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars. Their part is in the lake which burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. We must not get to the end of our walks and be bound by fear. Let's go to Yahushua, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6 through 8. Be strong and courageous. For you are to let this people inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous to guard to do according to all the Torah which Moshe, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it right or left, so that you act wisely wherever you go. Do not let this book of the Torah depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you guard to do according to all that is written in it. But then you shall make your way prosperous and act wisely. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, nor be discouraged. For Yahuwah, your Elohim, is with you wherever you go. Countless times we are commanded not to fear in Scripture. Mishle, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in Yahuwah shall be safe. Yes, Yahuwah. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 through 7, it is written. But now thus says Yahuwah, your creator, O Yaakov, and he who forms you, O Yasharal. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I am with you. And through rivers, they do not overflow you. When you walk through fire, you are not scorched. And a flame does not burn you. For I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. The Kadosh one of y'all shall all, your Savior. I gave Mishraim for your ransom. Kush and Seba in your place. Since you were precious in my eyes, you have been esteemed, and I have loved you, and I give men in your place, and peoples for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I shall bring your seed from the east, and gather you from the west. 
I shall say to the north, get them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the end of the earth, all those who are called by my name, whom I have created, formed, even made for my kavod. Hallelujah. Now let's go to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. It is written, Therefore, since the children share in flesh and blood, he himself similarly shared in the same, so that by means of his death, he might destroy him having the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver those who throughout life were held in slavery by fear of death. Praise Yahuwah. So let us pray. But first, we must repent and ask for forgiveness. Luke chapter 13 verse 3. I say to you, no, but unless you repent, you shall all perish in the same way. Yehukanon Rashon, 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 through 10, it is written. And this is the message which we have heard from him, and announced to you, that Elohim is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and are not doing the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we are misleading ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is trustworthy and righteous to forgive us the sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Therefore let us come boldly to the throne of favor in order to receive compassion and find favor for timely help. Hallelujah. Abba Yah, we come to you today that you forgive us of our sins, our transgressions, and our iniquities. Father, we pray that you will forgive us for any time that we have became fearful or doubtful. We know that your word says, if we confess our sin and forsake them, we will obtain mercy from you, according to Proverbs 28 verse 13. Behold, we pray, forgive us and have mercy upon our sins and have mercy upon our fear. In the name of Yahushua, so be it. Our Father in the Shamayim, wherever we have fallen short in this area of fear, that you will help us in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah, we pray according to Ephesians 3.16, that you will grant us according to the riches of your kavod, that you will strengthen us by your might, by your ruach in the inner man, in the name of Yahushua. We thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you. Hallelujah. So before we begin the warfare prayers, let us do some scripture confessionals to lay the foundation to our victory. Zion, Revelation 12, verse 11, it is written, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Yehukanah Rashon, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, You are of Elohim, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 through 20 Truly I say to you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall have been bound in the Shamayim, and whatsoever you shall loosen on earth shall have been loosened in the Shamayim. Again, I say to you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as such in anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in the Shamayim. But where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Luke chapter 10 verse 17 it is written, and the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Master, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. And he said to them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from the Shamayim. Behold, I give unto you power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahushua every knee shall bow of things in the Shamayim, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Yahushua HaMashiach to the esteem of Yahuwah the Father. Hallelujah. Tehillim, Psalms 91, it is written, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of all should die. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowl, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. 
His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. The thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. But he shall give his messengers charge over you, to guard you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample in defeat. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my deliverance. Psalm 91 is very important. I believe every believer should have this memorized. Tehillim, Psalms 27. Yahuwah is my light and my deliverance. Whom shall I fear? Yahuwah is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. When I asked of Yahuwah, this I seek, to dwell in the house of Yahuwah all the days of my life, to see the pleasantness of Yahuwah, and to inquire in his temple. For in the day of evil he hides me in his booth, in the covering of his tent he hides me. On the rock he raises me up. And now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me. And I offer in his tent with offerings of shops. I sing. I sing praises to Yahuwah. Hear, O Yahuwah, when I cry with my voice. And show me favor. And answer me. To my heart you have said, Seek my face. Your face, Yahuwah, I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in displeasure. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O Elohim of my deliverance. When my father and my mother have forsaken me, then Yahuwah takes me in. Teach me your way, O Yahuwah, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not give me over to the desire of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathed out violence to me. What if I had not believed? to see the goodness of Yahuwah in the land of the living. Wait on Yahuwah, be strong, and let him strengthen your hearts. Wait, I say, on Yahuwah. Hallelujah. As we go into this warfare prayer, I decree and declare that we shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that lay waste at noonday. Yahuwah is our light and our deliverance. Whom shall we fear? Every rock of fear has to bow at the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth. Let's go. We announce that greater is the one that is in us than any devil on the side of our enemies. It is written, the righteous is as bold as a lion. By our belief in Mashiach Yahushua, we are righteous. We receive our divine boldness. The messengers of Yahuwah encampeth round about them that fear him. The messengers of Elohim are with us. We have no basis to fear any man, any evil, any evil Ruach. Because Yahuwah Sebaop is with us, we put our confidence in him. It is written, If Elohim be for us, who can be against us? Elohim is with us. We have no reason to fear in the name of Yahushua. It is written, Yahuwah is my light and my deliverance. Whom shall I fear? Yahuwah is the defense of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though a host of demons encamp against us, our hearts will not fear. Though war rises against us, even in this, we shall be confident. Yahuwah is with us like a mighty, terrible one. We are not afraid. We cannot be threatened. Our persecutors shall stumble and fumble. Their everlasting confusion and disgrace and shame shall never be forgotten. Elohim has commanded us to fear not. 
of the 365 days in that year. No single day is allowed for us to fear. So, we refuse to be afraid of anything. You, Ruach of Fear, you are not in Elohim's agenda for us. We dismiss you from our lives now in the mighty name of Yahushua. Yahushua told us, even the very hairs of our head are not only counted but numbered. Not one single strand can be removed without Yahuwah's knowledge and permission. Therefore, we put our confidence in Yahuwah, who takes so much care for us, and we cast our concerns to him. The Bible says whatsoever we desire when we pray, we should believe and we will receive it in the name of Yahushua. Therefore, we pray right now in the mighty name of Yahushua that we are set free from every captivity or attack a negative speech from our mouths or thoughts from our heart against ourselves. Let the word of Yahuwah that is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword pierce through every negative thought or speech we have ever made and tear them down in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah wishes us above all things that we prosper in Yahushua's name. We receive prosperity in Yahushua's name. Elohim has not given us the Ruach of bondage again to fear. Therefore, every evil the Ruach of fear has done to our lives, we reject you, we bind you, we rebuke you, we cancel you now, be reversed out of our lives. Get out in the name of Yahushua. We have the mind of Mashiach. We reject, refuse, and bind negative thoughts and statements. Right now, we cast down every imagination and high thing exalting itself against the word of Yahuwah in our lives, in the name of Yahushua. Our Elohim is the father of Imunah. We ask and receive the belief in Yahuwah to increase in our Ruach, in our soul, and in our bodies, in the name of Yahushua. We totally trust in Yahuwah, and we are not leaning on our own understanding. We fill our hearts with the words of belief. We receive and speak the words of belief. The perfect will of Yahuwah for our lives shall come to pass. We abide in the secret place of the Most High Lord. He is our shelter and our refuge. The name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. The righteous enter in and they are safe. Today, we begin to be what Yahuwah says we are. And we begin to walk in it in the name of Yahushua. We are people. We are persons of authority, power, dominion, favor, and compassion in the name of Yahushua. We can do all things through Mashiach who strengthens us. We can run through a troop. We can leap over a wall. We can crush principalities and powers under our feet. We can pursue, overtake, and break the necks of our enemies. Henceforth, we refuse to live in fear. Rather, our fear and dread shall be upon all our enemies. As soon as they hear of us, they shall obey us. They shall submit themselves unto us. The strangers shall fade away out of their close places. In the name of Yahushua. Our confessions is from the word of Yahuwah. Therefore it stands sure. And it endures forever. Hallelujah. We rock Yahuwah. Who has comforted us on all sides. And satisfied our mouths with good things. We rock Yahuwah. You his messengers. Mighty in power. Who do his word. Listening to the voice of his word. We rock Yahuwah. You his host. You minister to his that do his pleasure. In the mighty name of Yahushua. Hamashiach and Nazareth. We refuse to fear because Elohim has not given us the Ruach of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind. And we receive power. We receive love and a sound mind right now in the name of Yahushua. We bind, we rebuke, and paralyze the Ruach of fear in our lives. We lose Ahaba, the Ruach of love, because love drives out fear in the name of Yahushua. Every power, every authority, every principality behind every activity of fears in our lives receive the wrath and indignation of Yahuwah and be consumed in it in the name of Yahushua everything we have feared will never come upon us in the name of Yahushua everything that we were afraid of will never come to us in the name of Yahushua the local wickedness we have ever been afraid of will not have a hold on us in the name of Yahushua the evil obtainable in our family backgrounds will never have a hold on us in the name of Yahushua. The evil everybody dreads in our family will not locate us because we are hidden in Mashiach in the name of Yahushua. The failure and disappointment in marriage will not manifest in our marriages in the name of Yahushua. 
the financial failure and embarrassment we have ever feared will not befall us in the name of Yahushua. The fear of backsliding we have ever nursed or nurtured up in our lives will not come upon us in the name of Yahushua. The fear of not being spiritually fulfilled will never manifest in our lives in the name of Yahushua. Let the fear of being ministerially stunted get out of our lives, get out of our visions now in the name of Yahushua. Let the fear of committing unpardonable sins be washed out of our lives by the blood of Yahushua in Yahushua's name. Let the fear of not being able to overcome any weakness in us dry to the roots now. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Let the fear of missing the great harvest go back to the bottom of the pit in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out every fear of compromising our belief. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and paralyze, and we command to come out every fear of losing our anointing and salvation. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Exodus chapter 23, verse 32 and 33, it is written, Do not make a covenant with them, nor with their mighty ones. Let them not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me, when you serve their mighty ones, when it becomes a snare to you. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we break every evil covenant, agreement, initiation, dedication that has brought fear into our lives in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke every terror of the night that has brought fear into our lives. We command you to stop and vanish from our environments now in the name of Yahushua. Tehillim, Psalms 35, it is written, Plead my cause, O Yahuwah, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am your deliverance. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my hurts. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the messenger of Yahuwah chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the messenger of Yahuwah persecute them. We bind and rebuke every dream criminal, every masquerading spirit, and every ruach of fear, and we loose the messengers of Yahuwah to pursue and persecute them in the name of Yahushua. You, ruach of fear, break and loose your hold upon our lives and families now in the name of Yahushua. The fear and terror of unbelievers shall not be our lot in the name of Yahushua. Our tomorrow is Baruch in Mashiach Yahushua. Therefore, you Ruach responsible for the fear of tomorrow in our lives, we bind you, we rebuke you, we paralyze you in the name of Yahushua. We lose Ahaba because perfect love drives our fear in Yahushua's name. Our destinies are in the hands of Yahuwah. Therefore, we decree and declare that we can never fail in Yahushua's name. Every bondage that we are being subjected to by the Ruach of fear, we command you to break shatter the pieces in the name of Yahushua. All negative doors, windows, gateways, portals that the Ruach of fear has opened in the past, we command you by the blood of Yahushua be closed and sealed now in the name of Yahushua. Every disease, every oppression and depression that came into our lives as a result of fear, we renounce you, we denounce you, we bind you, we rebuke you, we command you break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We refuse to be intimidated by any demonic nightmares in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah, give us the eye of a tiger and the heart of a warrior to overcome our enemies in the dream in the name of Yahushua. Numbers chapter 23 verses 20 through 24. Behold, I have received commandment to Barak, and he has Baruch, and I cannot reverse it. He has not beheld iniquity in Yahukov, neither has he seen perverseness in Yasharal. Yahuwah, his Elohim is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. All brought them out of Mishraim. He has, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Yaakov, neither is there any divination against Yasharal. According to this time, it shall be said of Yaakov and of Yasharal, What has all done? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, and lift up himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. Every enchantment and invocation or divination of fear being made against us, we neutralize you and we command you to fail in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. 
Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 8, verses 9 through 12. It is written, Be shattered, O you peoples, and be broken in pieces. Give ear, O you from the far places of the earth. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Take counsel, and it comes to naught. Speak a word, and it does not stand, for all is with us. For Yahuwah spoke thus to me with a strong hand, and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Do not say a conspiracy concerning all that this people call a conspiracy, nor be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled. Every confederacy of the enemies in our homes with the enemies outside shall not stand. Be broken in pieces in the name of Yahushua. All arrangements of the devil concerning our homes, concerning our workplaces, concerning our ministries shall not stand, neither shall they come to pass. Be broken in pieces in the name of Yahushua. We destroy all efforts of the enemy to frustrate our work in the name of Yahushua. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 it is written having blotted out the handwriting against us by the dogmas which stood against us and he has taken it out of the way having nailed it to the stake having stripped the principalities and the authorities he made a public display of them having prevailed over them in it by the power in the blood of Yahushua we nullify we blot out every writing agreement covenant initiation dedication Alliance against our work, against our ministries, against our destinies, against our marriages, in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, increase our greatness and comfort us on every side, in the name of Yahushua. Abba Yah, as you delight in our prosperity, we pray that you will rock us indeed in our work. Let no household enemies be able to control our well-beings any longer, in the name of Yahushua. Let every strong man, every strong woman who are against us with our cause, in our place of work, in our ministries, turn back and be brought to confusion and destroy each other in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we close, lock, and seal every door, every window, every gate, every mirror through which the enemies have been working against our work, against our ministries, against our marriages, against our health in the name of Yahushua. Tehillim Psalms 118 verses 19 through 21 it is written open to me the gates of righteousness I enter through them I thank Yah this is the gates of Yahuwah the righteous enter through it I thank you for you have answered me and have become my deliverance hallelujah we open wide all doors all gates leading to our Baraka victory and breakthroughs which the enemies have closed against us we enter in and we possess our possessions. Praise Yah in the name of Yahushua. Let every territorial spirit working against us in our neighborhood be frustrated, bound, and cast out in the name of Yahushua. Let every power contrary to the power of Elohim operating to suppress people in our areas be neutralized in the name of Yahushua. We bind, we rebuke, and we paralyze every ruach of frustration, defeat, Delay Baraka and fear in our environments. We cast them into the bottomless pit in the name of Yahushua. We loose the host of the Shamayim to gather themselves in battle array and go to war on our behalf and drive them out in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and we banish every enemy of progress in our neighborhoods in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and we banish the spirit of death, armed robbery, and assassination in our neighborhoods. We lose kindness, mercy, and shalom in the name of Yahushua. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we reject, renounce, and denounce, and break every evil agreement, covenant, initiation, or dedication in the environment in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we nullify the effects and operation of evil forces around our households, and our workplaces, and our transportations in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah! Loose divine rumors and let all our stubborn pursuers become occupied with unprofitable assignments in the name of Yahushua. We take the shield of belief and we quench every fiery dart, arrow, spiritual bullets, and satanic missiles fired at us in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, reveal the secrets and expose all our enemies masquerading as our friends in the name of Yahushua. 
Yahuwah, we pray, make it impossible for our enemies to use our footmarks, urine, feces, hair, toenails, clothing, and shoes against us in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Thank you, Abba Yah, for your deliverance. Thank you, Yahushua, for setting us free. Praise him. Yes, Yahu, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 11 and 12, it is written. O you afflicted one, tossed with storm and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with emeralds, and your foundation with sapphires, and I shall make your battlements of rubies, and your gates of crystal, and all your walls of precious stones. O Yahuwah, according to this word, break down the faulty foundations, the walls, gates, windows, borders, the roof of our lives, and rebuild it, restore it, repair it, fortify it, barricade it in a new one. In Mashiach Yahushua, in the name of Yahushua. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 2, verse 3 through 5, it is written. And see, the messenger who was speaking to me was going out, and another messenger was coming out to meet him. And he said to him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem is to remain unwalled because of the many men and livestock in it. But I myself am to her, declares Yahuwah. A wall of fire all around, and for esteem I am in her midst. Yahuwah, we pray, be a wall of fire round about us all, around our households, around our transportation, around our ministries, our assemblies, around our workplaces, and be the kavod in the midst of it, in Yahushua's name. Abba, I pray that there be divine hedges around everyone under the sound of my voice, in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah. May there be a hedge of thorn around us all and around all our possessions in the name of Yahushua. Acts chapter 2 verse 2 through 4 it is written. And suddenly there came a sound from the Shamayim as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire and settled on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach HaKodesh and began to speak with other tongues as the Ruach gave them to speak. Yahuwah, we pray, as a rushing mighty wind, Father, fill us up with your Ruach Kakudesh. Fill us until the cup overflows. And we pray in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth. Hallelujah. Baruch be Yahuwah, because his mercy endures forever. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Keep fighting a good fight, Kodoshim. Shalom.